Well, this is my tablet doing a video. I'll be as steady as I can. Turns out that this frame had quite a bit of rot just on the bottom. There's little pinholes here, there, and everywhere. Really bad near the back here and right here. You can see I did a nice patch. Uh, I just surface mounted a piece of the original tunnel. You can see it in the sun. And a uh, little thin here. I kept having to bleed it over, but the sides were really strong. So it's just the bottom that was blown out. The top half of the thing's pretty good. The bottom half has got little pinholes, so I'm going to end up fixing this too. Any way the water could collect, this is actually the bottom of the frame. Any way the water could collect on the bottom, about from here to here on this side, and then in a couple spaces on this one. But this one's all fixed. I just have this big slot to fix. Now, according to the plans, I think it was 36 or 48 inches. I need a tunnel. Uh, we just junked an IRS. I think I'm going to go get it back and cut it up. <laughs> it's at the junk yard. So, that's actually uh, 3M. Is it 3M? No, I don't think it's 3M. Maybe it is. It is Rust-Oleum uh, bed liner. That's what it is. I like this stuff. Works good. Rust-Oleum bed liner. And over here, I'll go slow. Those aren't tassels. Here's the shifter. I bought this ball a long time ago, and I just happened to notice that it threads right onto the Volkswagen. So I was like, hey, that'll make a neat shifter. Go in the middle, you know, even though we're upside down. Just one less thing to do. But I'm going to go see if Dawn wants to uh, pick up that frame with me, because I, I don't have a truck anymore. I have the Camaro. The Camaro nobody likes. Although I could probably get it in the back of the Camaro. It's not big. It's that big. What do you think? So I have this piece. I think this one is about 15 inches long. And I got a little more that I'm going to trim out here. What I'm doing is I tack the end on both ends. And then I'll work my way around. And then I'll hammer it all the way over. Weld all that. And then go to the other side while it's still hot and hammer that over. And I mean, it, it did pretty good. This is a hell of a curve. This is a hell of a curve. And that was an almost flat piece of metal. You can see a couple of the hammer dents. But this is one of my... My big hammer from Dad came out okay. You're not going to see any of it anyway. As long as it's strong, I don't mind. All right, back in a bit. All right, I'll go nice and slow. <laughs> this is the tunnel from an IRS, and this is a swing axle frame. The swing axle was really rotted up front, like I said. Uh, the tunnel was non-existent. It was actually really so rotted. I just cut it off. Uh, I kept the bottom half of the pan. You can see the bottom half of the tunnel. And this is the one that I measured to look like, uh, God, what was the name? Dawn. You can look at his pictures. But it's 26 inches from the face of the tube to the first bolt on the transmission shifter, on the tunnel shifter. This thing's got some scars too. The kid threw it out. I'm starting to cut it in half and then gave up because it's probably too thick for him. But I've been popping off the rivets. Where is it? Let me go over here. I've been popping off the spot welds with a screwdriver. It'll all clean up nice. There's still a little bit of metal left from the old um, floor pans. Drilled out the spot welds inside that hold all the tunnels to all the cables and crap. It's a little rusty up here, but actually all that is floor pan except for a little bit of pinning right here, but I also made it a little bit too long. And it's going to be steel plate going over that, I hope. Um, I like metalworking, and that's what I felt like doing today. <laughs> um, here's the mess I made, or part of it. That's from the IRS tunnel and cutting up the other one. Let's go out here, I'll show you. 
This was the IRS that was all rotted. But the tunnel was okay. This is the floor pan from it, from the other one. I've been stealing pieces of metal to patch the uh, transmission cooler. That's all the crap that was inside the, uh, the first one, the, I, the swing axle. It's still a mess in here. Not too bad, though. Ooh, that was a lot of work. Just getting these tubes out is a pain in the ass. They got all these spot welded brackets inside down through this tunnel. Now there's nothing in the tunnel. I just have to figure out a way to connect that to that. Um, we'll figure it out. Not a big deal. Can always add more weld, right? This is the original fork where the tunnel met the thingy. And my number is 59529.58. Can you see that? 59529.58. I don't know what year, make, model it is. It's got to be pre-1968. I don't know if... The numbers, what they are, what year, but I'm sure somebody will tell me. Um, what did I use today? I used the welder, I used the saw, I used everything. I used Dad's hammer, Dad's hammer, RC. Oh, I'm tired. This thing, let's hear the story of this. Well, those single port heads that I restored, I found out that they do not fit this engine. I'm guessing 1600 jugs. I'm thinking that was a 12 or a 1300 cc cylinder head. Like I said, they got to be machined out. That's about it for today. This is day one of uh, just messing with sheet metal, having some fun, cutting things up. Sometimes you got to make some noise, you know. I, I shouldn't even have wasted my time on this tunnel. I should have said, oh, let's get another one. But you know what? It's got some battle scars, it's got some history right there. History! He almost had it cut in half, and like the last probably two inches on both sides, it gave up. I don't know why. Just got to clean the pans off, and then make something up and over the top, and not a big deal. We have a swing axle frame cut down to 36, I think it was. Um, I'm not going to kill myself on it, but beats throwing it out. I got this one out of the junkyard, actually. That tunnel came out of the junkyard. This one was the one for that dune buggy of which it's so rotted it wasn't worth a damn anyway um it was either patch the bottoms of the tubes like i did or just throw the damn thing out so i patched the bottom of the tubes i still got a little section to do about 10 inches long on the bottom of one of them but i had a good time and that's all that matters you know what i mean i like working with metal it's not like wood you can't you can't make a coffee table out of wood and then turn it into something else a year later you made a coffee table out of metal, you can make it in anything. It could be a go-kart next week. It could be uh, anything. It could be a Volkswagen trike. You can turn anything into a Volkswagen trike. Got all these freaking parts. I finally put everything over here. Okay, just to give you an example. <laughs> Those are all heads. My simple green and my purple stuff and the starter. More heads, cam, rockers, speedometers, more heads. There's generators and generator stands and speedometers and engine tranny cradles and fan shrouds and more generators and exhaust system and more and more. I got these at the junk. Uh, sorry, the flea market today. Five bucks. How cool are those? Use them for something for five bucks. They get a little curved and they can go on anything. But that's it, guys. I'm having fun. I'm going in. Camo man. Have a good night. I gotta pick up this mess. Ugh.
All right, after ridding the yard of that junk doom buggy frame and bringing pieces of another one home and fixing it <laughs> and fixing it, this is what I'm left with. Uh, I marked this yellow line. I'm going to cut this tunnel piece back. See, tunnel piece. And clean it all up, fix these edges, add some metal, figure out where the shift is going to be, things like that, and hopefully peel that crap off too. This thing can go, that can go. Um, first I'm going to do is cut that. Because somebody already shortened this thing before, and they didn't do too bad welding here, but my god, the other stuff is just scary. Scary, scary. And this side doesn't have anything, of course, but it is a nice thick piece, and it's not rotted because it's the top half. The bottom, not so much. So I'll clean all this up, and I'll figure a way to add pieces and just make it work. Uh, while retaining my 26 inch or 36 inch on center from here to the face of the tube here. Alright, it's just some metal working. I feel like doing some metal working. These are some Gabriel gas adjust, uh, the KYB, I'm sorry. KYB gas adjust. These are actually real Volkswagen shocks. And my friend Jeff came to me. He got a bunch of stuff. Oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups from eating hot dogs. And these were in it, so. They'll probably end up gray, not silver. All right, I'm going to trim that piece and have some fun, and maybe I can tack it together. I was, um, I'll show you what I was doing. You can even see it. I was using a flathead screwdriver and just peeling, peeling the sheet metal off here. It all looked like this. Rusty edges of old floor pans. Now it looks like this. Just got to be cleaned up. Grind those spot welds down. So we'll have a nice clean edge. I got to do this side. So why put it on? When it's easy to pick up now, I'll clean this up, I'll clean this up first. Okay, stop that. It's got battle scars. They're pretty good. I took it okay. That'll clean up nice. This one, I don't know what he's doing. He cut it horizontal and then just stopped. Why would you do that? Maybe he was trying to take this out. And I think he was taking a little too much. Remember, this is two layers of steel, too. This isn't just one layer. There's, um... Parts of the tunnel where the parking brake is, I guess, are two pieces only. Oh, uh, yeah, if I would have gone another quarter of an inch lower, I wouldn't have hit that piece, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to clean all this crap off first. That's going to be fun in itself. Clean a bit. Excuse me. It's a little crunchy there. That's okay. The whole, about that much of it gets covered. But I ground all those little spot welded off. Got all those layers of sheet metal gone. The only thing that's here is the sheet metal from the tunnel. See the tunnel? This tunnel's in damn good shape. That's got to be ground down. I did grind down a little bit here. We'll do some Bondo or something and just clean it up before we paint it. Oh, we'll just leave it like that. Who cares? i got to make a patch for this to go over the whole thing. The seat goes over that, so you're not going to see that either. So it's kind of a waste, but I'll show you this, the other side. See all the pitted metal? A little slice to take care of. Look at the mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get to grind that off and chisel it off. I was using a little screwdriver I have and one of my hammers and just getting underneath it and then prying and prying it pops off. I gotta fix that too. But now I gotta do this side. Oh boy. Having fun. Back in a bit. Alright, well it's not working, but it's in. It's just sitting here. Alright, it's bolted in. Jeff's leaving in his little car. Um, I forget what the measurement was, but it was like six inches more than the uh, original 26 that Don had told me to go. I will pull the seat off and let you know. I was wondering on an IRS or a swing axle if you can go from bolt to bolt with a piece of angle iron. You can't on the front, you can't on the back because it hits this, so we'll have to notch over it or something like that. Or maybe even use it as a bracket, who knows. We'll take a bolt off and put something there. And when I say that, I mean this. If I set that on there, and this on here, it peter-totters. Now, the only thing holding the front to the rear is that. There's literally you know, a couple two-inch welds. 
Um, I've got it that way so I can level the front and then level the face of the transmission. Even though this ain't even the right transmission, but it fits. Um, my little tractor seat from the Red Baron is just here for looks. I might get another one, I don't know, we'll see. A um, long way from being on three wheels. Um, I don't know. It's dark. Of course it's been raining for two days. Awesome. <laughs> Here's my little chair. It's Jeff's box. He just got that thing like, not bad, like a hundred bucks. U.S. General box. Five drawers and a top storage. So what do I do next? This looks like a familiar shot. Alright, I am going to take some pictures and I'm going to go in. I'm really tired. I had a busy day at work today. I really didn't have time to do anything here, but I did. So, now I'm really tired. I am tired upon tired upon tired. Helps me pick up your wrenches too. That's a neat seat. It's very comfortable too. Alright, I'll get you a measurement, uh, Dawn from the face of the tube to the first bolt hole on the shifter. On center with that, right there. Okay? Alright, taking some pictures. You have a good night. Don had his marked as 26 inches from the face of the tube to, I don't know what, it's probably the first bolt. Maybe it was an on center, I don't know. Mine ends up being five and a half inches longer. longer. Blah. So it's 32 and a half inches. My tunnel, I did not measure, but I will get a measurement. My tunnel from the face of the torsion tube to the nose of the tunnel is going to be 45 and a half inches. Yep, 45 and a half. Uh, up front, from the very end of the tube to the center, I'll say the face of the plate for the shifter is 10 inches. So up next, we're going to do some cardboard forms and got to figure out a way to reinforce this and I've got a lot of metal to replace maybe even uh, do some sandblasting inside and paint it or something I did clean up the entire edge on this thing that was an absolute nightmare on both sides no less these little grinding wheels that take the rivet heads right off the weld spot heads there <sighs> That's it. I am going in. You have a good night. Hopefully we're going to have a great weekend. It's only Monday night and I'm not very excited about anything. <laughs> ah. Here's the patterns i got to make. Here's Dawn's trike. Yeah, that looks familiar. That looks like, like this. Except it's got a tranny under it. Okay, see ya. All right, this is like the third day. I didn't get to do much. I trimmed the side off of this cap though. It's hollow in there. I took the whole side off and I decided to put the top on. And what I'm gonna do is use some heavier plate versus the sheet metal that they use. I'm gonna put some, something a little heavier, maybe eighth inch or who knows what, sixteenth. Um, make some kind of internal framework just to beef things up a little bit. But I made sure that the frame tunnel was level and with the transmission on, I made sure that the face of the tranny was level, so everybody's just pretty much tacked in place. Um, everything else will be trimming off the kaka, and I'll make a new piece to go here, probably leave some kind of an access door or who knows what. But I want to connect 
See how these are at different levels? I'm going to go underneath and slice it and connect that. Actually, I can pull this level off. I don't need this here anymore. I could almost flip it with one hand. It doesn't weigh much. There you go. So I'm going to trim and feather that all out down to the tunnel itself and fill in this crack and probably overlap these two pieces. But this was my hold on, this was my basic framework here. Just get the shape and get it straight. It's 51 and a half inches from here to the center of the first bolt on both sides. I put a square in from the tube up the side and it's fine. Let me put this thing back down. Probably like not even 50 pounds. Maybe 60 pounds, if that. And I got it sitting on my little jack here. Doesn't weigh much at all. Um, I could leave it open like this. I'm going to see if the guy at the junk hat can sandblast it for me. I'll take the shifter off, of course, and sandblast it inside and out, and then I'll worry about adding these plates. That way he has access to the holes, but I could make something to go in there. I made half of this stuff here. Um, I like the little stitch well. <laughs> Just, it's like Frankenstein. Um, but that's it. Just today was me making this. And I made some marks, like I said, where I'm going to trim it. Square it up. Not that that's a square. But. Okay, have a good night.